She once called it her American dream and then later an American nightmare. The founding principal of an Arab language public school in Brooklyn was at the center of controversy when the school launched and she was forced out. Now she's written a book about the experience. New York One's Janine Ramirez reports. Debbie Alman Tassel stopped by Greenlight Bookstore in Fort Greene as she promoted her first book, Leading While Muslim. She says the backlash she received as the founding principal of the country's first Arabic language public school inspired her to write it. I was targeted big time, um, both uh, individually and um, as an American Muslim. I was basically a target in this geopolitical, um, you know, uh, crusade against Islam and Muslims. It was February 2007 when Alman Tassa was named principal of a new school to open that fall, the Khalil Gibran International Academy in Brooklyn. Dedicated to the study of Arabic language and culture and open to students of all backgrounds, one of the many dual language schools opening across the city. She says she became an instant target. Days later, the Islamophobia industry started to write negatively about the school. They coined the school as a madrasa. They coined it as uh, a place to indoctrinate children. The school did open that year, but not with Alman Tasser at the helm. She was forced out after a controversial t-shirt was being sold at an Arab American event she helped organize. She filed a lawsuit against the city and eventually won. Alman Tasser says the experience helped her connect to other Muslim American principals nationwide, and she tells their stories in her book. I felt it was so critical to actually look at both their leadership and their spirituality as American Muslims um, in a post 9-11 climate. Alman Tasser also shares her story at the Brooklyn Historical Society's latest oral history project, Muslims in Brooklyn. She's one of 50 Brooklynites interviewed whose testimonials will be featured on the web in an exhibition and part of a school educational curriculum. Oral historian Zahir Ali says one out of every 10 children in city public schools is Muslim. It has been really important for them to um, make sure that the kinds of messages and images and ideas that young people get about themselves are accurate and well-informed. Well-informed about a history that Debbie Almantasser is now part of. In Brooklyn, Janine Ramirez, New York One.